Welcome back. Side quests, once again, the name of the game, everyone, is side quests. You get the idea. NASA Tenpanzi. I have favor to ask. Indeed. Earth alien, you are blade. I have a request. But first, I have a question. Do you love trees? Respect trees. Do your life pulse inside them? Uh, I believe that all nature should be respected. Not exactly what she's asking, really. I sent you speak truth. I will trust you. I am Nazar Tenpanzi, protector of great tree. You must help me raise great tree from seed. First, you must accept. Then I will explain all. I defend the seed with my life. I cannot expose it to danger. We must keep it secret safe. It is good I spoke to you. Some Earth aliens are unworthy of trust. Speaking to you was gamble. Um, are you in danger? I kept the seed safe from Ganglion. It put me in much danger. But that does not matter. I do not matter. Only Great Tree matters. Ganglion raided our home, killed many, burned trees that were host to old ones. So I took action. I buried seed of Great Tree within my own flesh, then survived. That's one way to do it. Also, great trees might take root in this land. Seed must be planted in soil. Then my task is done. But this land is different from our home. I fear seed will not grow. So I seek aid from others. You must find someone who knows of plants. Ask how to grow trees on Mira. Uh, I'll do it. Some prone have forgotten trees. It is good you do not. We need protection of old ones in this land, and old ones need great trees. I expect the Earth aliens are no different. You would also feel weak if something dear was stolen from you. Lives of all prone depend on future of this seed. I mean, uh, all right. Herbivores unite. Yeah, tree lovers only. Alright, so, learn more about how to nurture the great tree by talking to his uniforms on the man on ship. I like that, I, there's little things here and there that keep touching on it, just so, like, important. Just that idea of, like, the different wildlife and all that type of stuff, and it's like... That idea, like, it may not grow in this soil. It's like, that's a good thing to look into and disgust with considering how strange a mirror is in itself it's that sense of this feels important in a different way because it's it's that again it's that sense of like what the hell is mirror what the hell is it so this sense of like understanding it more through quests like these I feel is very very important oh, he's growing some trees here hmm this is another Earth plant. Fascinating. Might I cut one down to bring home? I wish to use it in my research. Hmm. I'll ask if he's a botanist. Yes, I trade in comp compositional analysis and reproduction of plants. And you are? Ah, I see. You seek information on how to best raise a tree species brought to Mira by one of the prone. Well, any typical tree can be made to grow by using... Non branch sap, which can be found in the vicinity of the divine roost at the north edge of Noctulum. I'm curious to see this great tree for myself. My ova has begun to throb as well. Oh my. I need to tell us that, so be it. I will meet with this prone woman. Okay, acquire some non branch sap from Noctulum divine roost. See, it's like, look at, look at this plan. It's. It's something, isn't it? It's definitely something. What kind of um, flower does that look like? Does anybody know? I wonder if that has any significance to anything. It's the divine roost. We know that much down here, but it looks it looks like certain. Oh, I got it already. It looks like a certain kind of flower, but I don't know exactly what type. What with it like bulging out at the bottom, going up, and then bulging out again. <sighs> I, again, I, I'm no botanist or anything like that. Maybe some kind of thistle or something like that? I don't know. Like, what are these bits coming out here? 
Hmm. Like they got thorns on them. It's very, very... It's a very strange... Flower. It's like the, the roots. Coming out of that weird flowery thing. But is it... Hmm. Yeah, because the tips... Oh, that one... The tips here have gone red as well. Like, why? Is it changing the composition of the ground? It's just very, very... Odd, especially with that Telephia around. Orphean Professor taught me many things. Narbranch sap will make great tree grow strong. Do you have any? You know what? Sap produced by giant trees growing in the depths of Noctilum. It has... Strong growth accelerating properties. That would explain the the plant. Maybe maybe that plant, the big red plant we saw, was just a normal flower, but this, the gnarl branch. Although is gnarl branch the actual plant itself? And it's producing this, or is it something it uses to grow big? Maybe this will explain it. Will this really work? It should, but I only have a 99.86% certainty. However, those are still most excellent odds when it comes to botanical growth factors. Orphean's words are difficult, but he seems good. Can I trust what Professor says? Yeah, 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 it's trustworthy. Yes. He accepts our problem as if it were his. This is a good sign. So be it. I'll use Narbranch Sap. I will attempt to grow a great tree. The bottom set of eyes are the strange ones in terms of location for them. Hmm. Is this right, Professor? Yes, sure. Application was indeed correct. You need not wait long. It should proud presently. Amazing. It will be mighty great tree by tomorrow. Old ones will be reborn here in New L.A. Keep an eye on this plant, then. Hmm, yes. It is a curious species indeed. And now for the tasting. What are you doing? What? Um... Trees are always best when eaten as tender saplings. So fresh and green. Do you not agree? Dude. Suggest that Mon Barak apologize before Naza breaks his legs. Apologize? As an express contrition? I'm confused. How does such a thing apply here? You. What did you do? How could you eat great tree? That's exist as food. They hold no other purpose. Hmm. You still seem quite perturbed. Oh, how rude of me. Were you also hungry? Yeah, that's fair. One, two, three, ah, I see. You believe that a divine being resides within that tree of yours. Well, that makes sense, except for the part where it's nonsense. If I may, as a research botanist, I have studied a vast and wide, a very, yes, that makes more sense, number of tree species. Yet none of them has housed anything even remotely classifiable as a god. This is a simple fact. We of Tree Clan believe we meet old ones in our final moments. So I will prove you are wrong about old ones when I murder you. Ah, b but uh, my over insists that it is not yet the proper time for me to perish. You there, human. Do you not think you ought to intervene before this becomes an actual tragedy? I simply cannot imagine why the prone is so angry. I can. <laughs> Explain to Mon Barak. So her regard for the divinity of that tree is equivalent to the way we view our over. A most thorough explanation, thank you. I fear I have committed a most egregious affront. I beg your pardon, I will revive your tree at once. You, you can do that? This is my profession. In consuming your tree, I have analyzed its composition. Given the material, synthesizing a new instance is really quite simple. You only need four Zezian Fleetwort and a Longevity Bow. 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 
If you procure those, I can restore your great tree with a 99.12% chance of perfect fidelity. I'm not going to reach a conclusion like this. Wait, I need to get something else from Silverlum? Alright, so I need to kill these guys here, these old services, but I want to point out to you, I've not killed any. So if I kill one, just show you how good this 100% thing is. Obviously I've got to actually kill it, yeah. Would be wise. Now have a biscuit. That's it, it's right there, second one. Done. Have you acquired the materials needed to regenerate the great tree? Yes, of course, of course. Ah, uh, just as I requested. I will begin work at once. Don't eat it. In the interest of precision, Nasa, I need to ask a number of questions about the great tree of yours. Do you find this acceptable? You may ask, but make haste. If tree is lost, so are you, Professor. Rest assured that your knowledge, combined with the data I acquired by consuming the tree, should prove most sufficient. Now, if I may, Please describe the history you prone share with these sacred trees. No, oh, don't fade out, I wanted to know. He did it. I assert that this reconstruction is a perfect match for the great trees you people have long worshipped. Mm, you know, seen in this light, I can understand why one might think these trees are hosts to the divine. Professor is strange, not bad, but strange. But other races often are. Maybe races just need to speak to each other. What do you think, Erfalian? I think we need to keep an eye on him. He might eat it again. <laughs> One NASA that perfect understanding is in the, the perfect understanding is is impossible. Like uh, not in agreement. You are wise, Erfalian. Credit to your race. I will learn from your example. I will be less quick to violence. You ate great tree, then made new great tree. You taught how to make it grow strong. We are even now. Huh? You Harlem, what are you doing here? Don't, don't do it. Oh. I came at the guidance of my Ova. I sensed you were creating a palatable tree and came to dine. You, you, that was my great tree. We have to make another one. Mm, this tree's original was a possession of yours. But your prone tree was very much to my liking. I hope to enjoy another soon. At least we know we can make a new one. Yeah, take a reward. Yeah! <laughs> I will speak to this new Orphean. Speak until we reach understanding. Very thorough understanding. By any means necessary. Yeah, he's like, you can make a new great tree now. We, we're fine, we're fine there. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, oh. I mean, I wasn't agreeing on where we were actually planting it. It's like, because if this tree was going to grow huge, that would, that would be a problem, right? Like, how big is that tree? Like, what what kind of size are we looking at here? So where 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 are we going now? Because there was another quest around, wasn't there? There's this one. Linden Ear. So I want to see about getting that done, but I don't know exactly where it is. I think maybe below? Makes sense based on... Because otherwise it looks like it's in the building. Doesn't quite make sense. No? Maybe on top of the building. Maybe a different time of day. Can you go up? Why is it not going up? <laughs> Let's just like go up. Like stop stop just going down and go up. Alright, where are we at? There you are. Lara Oh, it's you. I did see you teleport. Hey there, you dreamboat. I've got a line on a tasty little job. You interested? Pretty sure you won't regret it. Go on then. Curious, are we? I do love a girl with an open mind and a go-getter attitude and also a giant laser. Besides, where's the fun in being a blade if you're not making money? 
I've got a mission direct from Commander Van Damme, you see. A new lifehold unit's been spotted in Silverlum. Anyway, I was hoping a strapping young thing like you could help out with the investigation and recovery. See? Told you it was juicy. Not that this job doesn't come with a laundry list of questions. Like, why were only noticing the thing now? Why the ganglion haven't touched it? All part of the fun of investigating, I suppose. It's job like this. We blades are not salt. There are some unknown, sure. But I'd still file this job in the easy end of things. So there you go, and you're welcome. Best of luck, Tiger. Bubba, I like him so much. Now, interesting thing about this quest. Wasn't the actual quest I was looking for, was it? Different quest. But that's fine. So, hmm. I think it's suspicious one of those. I'm going to call them like those things over there. Like that that thing. Like the, where is it? You. I'm going to call that type of enemy a cosmos enemy. So you know what I mean in terms of like when I'm talking about the cosmos is like helmet face type thing and telos is as well. Just that sense of like it looks similar to that in certain designs. I don't really know why it just feels it. Let's change the time so we at least have some daylight here. Again, I have to work with YouTube and how it works with darkness. So I think it's a certain color range. And the fact it would just be like very, very dark, it just goes, oh, that's black. It's, like, it's, it's not. I've changed the color settings, it's still not helped. Better, but still with the same, end up with the same issues. Just got your report confirming the lifehold unit's coordinates. Nice work. Access code? Uh, what access code? I haven't heard anything about an access code. This It's fake. Hmm, I'll double check on my end, but... Are you sure you're doing it right? I'm just working off the data I have. There's never been any mention of access codes before. They're never designed to be scattered around like this, so it just doesn't make sense to put on any fancy security in place. Yeah, I don't know. Normally, I love surprises. But I'm not a fan of this one. And I'll look into it. Meanwhile, you keep investigating the site and ring me up if you find anything. I'll give you a buzz if I find anything here. Toodles! You cracked that code yet? Hello? Hello, hello. It is a simple trap, if you ask me, but you humans lose any sense of caution when it comes to these pieces of that life hold of yours. The program asking you for a code isn't connected to a lock at all. It just sends a signal when someone touches it. That signal comes to us. And then you can secure the high ground around you before you are even aware of us. That device is of no real use to us, but not destroying it has certainly paid off. It's a perfect snare for idiots like you. I'm loving their design. Look at that! So like, are you mechanical? Like, what are you? And now that I've shared the trick behind our little setup here, we can move on to the fun part. Where we kill you. Alright, General Grievous. Hello there. This isn't a race we've met before, because I, I don't recall them. Let's go back to the sword for a little while. Hmm. 
Just more studying their names and looking at what they are right now. Very different animations to them than what we've seen previously, I feel. I mean, they look robotic, but are they completely robotic or are they like cyborg? Are they connected to that thing over there? The cosmos type enemy? Are we actually killing them or are they like respawning or... Oh, there's a time limit. Right, yeah. I didn't even notice the time limit. Too focused on looking at them to take in the time limit. It's just like, you're all different but you're all the same name, so it's like... Are their actual colours different? Like... Hmm... Fascinating. By your command. Like, like some have like giant capes on, some don't. I'd, I'd cut to like, like, like I normally do when stuff like this happens, but it's like, this feels strangely odd. Like, I just, I just, I just want to like slow down time or something, just have a look at them for a little while. Because it's like the second I saw that guy turn up, it was like, this guy's cool. I like that I am losing my temper. Okay. They got skills as well? You got to be kidding me. There's no fun in an ambush if your prey fights back. Uh, and this is probably all the backup we can hope to get. All right, men, fight. You've no one alive. Now I'm thinking getting my skill. Time limit's gone now. Which means unleash the laser. Cannon. Fire. Lovely, lovely. These guys down here. Have a biscuit. Laser time. You're gone, mate. Oh dear. Have a biscuit, you group down there. This group will have lovely, lovely batch of biscuits. Have a biscuit. Okay. I want more to do with them. I honestly, they're not come up before, have they? Have I just forgotten? I don't think they have. I received the data you were able to salvage. Seems it wasn't just library data. Looks like an automatic communication log of some sort. The timestamp places it just before the White Whale crashed, and the sender is a different ARC ship sent up from another country. Okay, that's interesting. We used to say the whale's crew had their hands full at the time, so they were too busy to trace the other ship's course. Or even to analyze the message's contents, frankly. But doing that now may bring light to all kinds of important new info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means finding this data was a big deal. Great work, Tiger. Unless it turns out to be data is uh, actually useless, in which case this was a waste of everyone's time. But none of that changes the fact that your job is to grab the core memory module and bring it home safe. Don't leave a single bite behind, honey. It is like, I would like to learn more about the other, other arc ships that were sent off. Because it's like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Where did they go? 
They clearly don't end up a mirror. That would actually be cool if it ended with an idea of like, uh, you see another one coming in. It would open the, the idea of like, there'd be another city. They'd have the option, like, Xenoblade Chronicles X2 ideas, essentially. It's like, if there was another ship coming in, like to say, because you this thing, you do want these continents again. Otherwise, that would feel very strange to not have them be part of the world yet again. But it would be interesting if they had another arc crashing. Say, you like there was an outpost some somewhere like one of the coasts, and they saw an arc coming in through the sky and then crashing like, way off beyond the horizon. Be like, okay, well we need to go over there. We need to find what's going on, and over there you find five more continents. You just find more places to actually go to, and it's like, oh, well, we never thought about exploring beyond where we were right now because we needed to establish a base, make sure we were alive before we could explore anywhere else. So they could do that. That would be a way to expand the world. What? All right, I didn't know that was a a thing to find. Okay, very curious about that precipice down there. But yeah, that could be interesting. Especially if it's... Wait, was there some... What the... What was that? Why was that floating in the sky? That was weird. There's no one. Exploding pansy. I didn't know there was stuff in the sky. I have no idea where I've gone. That's weird. It's fascinating, that. You would never get to this stuff unless you just randomly flew off doing nothing. What the... Spores and pandies. It's like, it's, it is like... Just spores in the air. Like in between... Oblivion and Silverlum. See there, it's like, uh, yeah, no, I never knew you could get the waters as a region discovered. And that there was stuff here. Sand cucumber in the air. Okay. Huh. What was I talking about? That's distracting me because it's fascinating. I didn't, I didn't know. Simple thing like that has just thrown me off. Um, yeah, Zenblade Chronicles X ideas, yes. Pretty much a new whale, new five continents, yes. Nice work out there. I'll take that memory module off your hands. A memory chip that contains records of communication between the white whale and other ships. It was recovered from a life oil piece that fell in Silverlum. Perfect, thanks. Oh, and Commander Van Damme was really interested in that data sample you sent on ahead. He's been super impatient for you to get back with the rest of it. Seems he's ready to call this a historic find even before the analysis. Mm hmm. Analysis comes back on the contents. You want to nerf a real treasure this time? Well, according to him, anyway. Oh, but don't bother asking for a bonus, won't happen. Blade contracts are extremely strict, you know. But it's for the good of the city, I suppose. And for us, like blades, by extension. Makes it harder to complain when you think of it that way, huh? Still possible, mind, but harder. Still no sense wasting time and social capital wine win whinging whining? about the little things. Not when there's big jobs with fat rewards waiting to get done. Something about risking it all for that high stakes payoff that just gets the blood pumping, you know? Adventure makes me hot and bothered. Yes. And his moves, I'm assuming there'll be another quest. But I'm thinking in this part here, and next part again, more quests. Just wondering if that's the yellow face around and he's actually turned up somewhere else now. Because I'd be interested to see if that's got a follow-up somewhere, because that's... It's one of those things that I feel that's very fascinating in terms of... What's happening with the world, what's happening with the universe, essentially. Because it's like, yeah, there were other arcs. This isn't the only one, so it's like... Where did the others go? So that's the thing. E even if, like, we got wiped out here, that's not the end of the human race. Maybe. Maybe. It just depends what happened to the other arcs. 
But yes, that's that's where we're done. We'll see you in the next part. Start off and now. Yeah,